Mali's interim president and prime minister resigned on Wednesday, two days after they were detained by the military. That's according to an aide to Colonel Asimi Goita. He's the country's interim vice president and leader of an August coup d'etat. His soldiers arrested President Barton Dow and Prime Minister Mokhtar Wan on Monday evening. Their resignations on Wednesday came during a visit by a delegation from the economic community of West African states. ECOWAS mediated after the August coup and is now trying to resolve the military's latest political intervention. During a meeting with Goiter late on Tuesday, the delegation raised the possibility of sanctions against the officers responsible, according to a military official who was present. Goiter says Ndao and Wan had violated the transitional charter by failing to consult him on a cabinet reshuffle, in which two of his fellow August coup leaders lost their posts. Mali's neighbours and international powers have condemned the military's move. They fear increased insecurity in a country that jihadist groups have used as a launch pad for attacks across the region. There are also concerns that Mali's transition back to democracy has been jeopardized, though Goita has promised elections will go ahead next year as planned.